Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're checking out something that I am really excited about. I've been checking out for a little while here. So it is this ultra short throw projector sitting behind me uh, right here. As you can see, it's projecting that image up on there, and it's one of the brightest and most vivid images that I've seen in an ultra short throw projector. This is the AWOL LTV 3500. So let's dive in and check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So we've checked out a few different ultra short throw projectors here on the channel recently, uh, one from Wemax and one from XJimmy. But this company, AWOL, has a couple of really great products. So we have this one, which is the LTV 3500, which uh, the main feature here is the Peak Lumens is at 3500. And then they also offer a 2500, which I think the Peak Lumens on that one is 2000. And when combined with some screens that they offer, we have the AWOL. This is their ALR cinematic screen. It's a 0.6 gain. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But the combination of that ambient light reflecting screen with this super bright projector has made for just an incredible image. So real quick here, let's dive through some of the specs. It is 4K UHD resolution, can do HDR 10 plus, 3500 lumens, can project a size of 80 inches up to 150 inch for your screen size. It's 25,000 hour lifespan, 36 watt stereo speakers, and a game mode that supports 30 millisecond input lag. So for gamers, uh, it's a little bit better of a game mode for that. And the price on here, the MSRP is $6,000, uh, but right now you can get it for $3,300. So quite a huge savings there if this is something you wanna check out. All right, and so first off, let's take a look at the overall design of this projector. Compared to the WiMAX Nova, ultra short throw projector that we reviewed recently, the AWOL is a bit of a tank. While not as beefy as the XJimmy Aura, the AWOL LTV 3500 weighs 27 pounds and measures 23.5 by 14 by 5.7 inches. And as I noted in my Nova review, it's actually kind of nice to have a bigger and heavier ultra short throw projector. Uh, because the way it's positioned down there and shooting up, you know, it's a very fine tuned adjustment to get the uh, image projected onto that screen. So if it does get bumped at all, it can need some readjustment to get that image aligned again. And so a heavier projector, uh, in my experience at least, is a little bit less susceptible to bumps and, you know, little micro movements. And for me, somebody who's reviewing multiple projectors and constantly plugging things and, you know, taking them out from the back, it's kind of nice to have that uh, because it is pretty easy for me to bump them. Design-wise, the AWOL LTV 3500 has a modern design that is a bit more outspoken than the WiMAX but it still doesn't look as outlandish as some other ultra short throw projectors. It doesn't quite look like a simple center channel speaker like the XJimmy Aura, but it looks a little bit more like a printer or other large digital appliance. On the back, we have the inputs and outputs. Uh, in total, we have three HDMI ports, two of which are eARC. We have two USB 2.0 ports, one LAN, one digital audio out, and an AV in. And the LTV 3500 doesn't have any sort of like smart features, doesn't have apps built into it, but they've designed this pretty awesome little pocket in the back that's made for a streaming stick. So like your Amazon Fire Stick, like in my case, I'm using the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. As with most ultra short throw projectors, I mean, setup can be just a little bit tedious because it can be a little bit of, you know, fine tuning that position to make sure you're getting the right angle. But then once it's set, you know, it really shouldn't need much adjustment unless you do bump it, of course. On the bottom of the projector are four adjustable feet to help fine tune the stance of the projector to get an even image on your projected surface. In an ideal setup, the projector would, you know, perfectly display the image on the borders of the screen. You know, you wouldn't have any overlap. You'd be using, you know, every single pixel on there. Uh, but if you can't quite get it in the right position, then the AWOL LTV 3500 has an eight way, uh, you know, little pinpoint correction where you can kind of dial that in. All right, so with it set up, let's talk about kind of the first startup, which like I said, I've tried a few of these in the past, uh, but this was actually the first time I was really surprised and almost taken away uh, when I did first turn this projector on. And I'll actually cue that up here. Uh, it's the starting sequence on it. So I'll turn the projector off and then we'll turn it back on so you can kind of uh, get that same experience with me. But um, as you can see, um, <laughs> even from the onset, it's a very bright, very vivid image. They have some uh, loud audio as well that plays. And when I was up close to the projector actually setting it up, this really took me by surprise uh, as you know, my entire face was kind of <laughs> blinded by that bright white light. Uh, but it just goes to show how impressive this projector is. And I kind of mentioned it, but another big part of that might also be the screen that we are projecting it on. So this is also from AWOL. Uh, this is one of their ALR screens. They have a few different sizes and variations available. I think this is their cinematic one. So I'll very briefly uh, oversimplify ambient light rejecting screens. 
Uh, basically, there's a special surface on there that when viewed from one direction, like if you're viewing it from above, it's going to kind of absorb light and, you know, so it won't reflect and also won't, you know, create kind of a washed out look on the screen. And then from the bottom, it has a special surface that will project the light back outwards towards the viewer. So it can kind of enhance that experience. So if you've ever been in a room with a projector and you turn on the lights and it really, you know, washes out the image, uh, ALR screens are made to kind of combat that and they work really well with ultra short throw projectors of course. So this screen is in their cinematic line. It has a 0.6 uh, dB gain. So the gain basically represents uh, how much light that screen is going to reflect. So a gain of one would be, you know, all the light that's projected up is going to be, you know, pushed out as well. Uh, 0.6, it actually reduces some of that brightness a little bit. But what you get with that is kind of a little bit more contrast and then also some more vivid colors as well. So this is supposed to be uh, a more enhanced picture for cinematic viewing. And together, uh, this combination of the projector and the screen has made for just an incredibly impressive picture. Uh, it's very bright, very saturated, you know, especially here in the menus, it uh, really feels like colors are extremely vivid. You know, most actual like movies and TV shows are a little bit more subdued than that. They aren't, you know, pushing saturation and brightness to the max, uh, but um, it, it's just an incredible picture. And I mean, as you can see here, I have uh, one of my video lights on. This is the same light that I use when I'm shooting my other videos up in my studio. And we have it uh, with a projector screen in the background here and everything looks fine. And even with all of my lights turned on down here in the basement, and you can even see there is a window here. This isn't a, you know, super lit daylight, you know, living room kind of scenario. But even with all the lights turned on down here, this image is still uh, bright and it's still vivid as well. So actually I'll turn those on real quick and we can see what that looks like. So this is with all the lighting turned on in my basement, you know, it's nothing like crazy bright, but with other ultra short throw projectors, it would definitely wash out the image back here and, you know, make it a lot harder to watch media or play games uh, when the lights were turned on. Uh, but with this one, I've had no issues playing, you know, night races in Forza Horizon 5 or watching any dark uh, content either. And continuing with some of my experience with the projector, you know, while uh, smart projectors that have built-in streaming and apps, while that can be kind of handy, I've also found it to be a little bit limiting sometimes. And, you know, sometimes they don't work well with like Netflix or other apps aren't really working very well. So I actually kind of prefer using the Roku on here because I know that everything's going to work really well. Uh, it gives a great picture and it's a really uh, fast, fluid experience. In my experience, menus and any sort of navigation has been very snappy and fast as well. It's really easy to change the inputs or to change image modes, to change any color options. Uh, everything has been very responsive. And talking about gaming, uh, in that game mode, it does have that 30 millisecond input lag, which would be noticeable, uh, at least for me, in a lot of like, you know, competitive FPS games, even playing like Destiny 2 or something like that, you know, where you really want some quick snappy response with your thumbsticks, you will still notice that. Uh, but for playing more casual games, like I said, playing Forza Horizon 5, that's just an absolute blast on this projector. You know, because it does have that really bright, vivid image, it plays at 4K 60 Hertz, so it's a smooth image as well, and nice and crisp. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to play on here. And like many other ultra short throw projectors, there are speakers built into this one. Uh, it has 36 watt stereo speakers, which uh, as you heard in that little intro, they will definitely fill a room. But if you are looking for a cinematic experience, I would highly recommend getting some sort of dedicated audio system. You know, one really simple way to do that wirelessly is with something like the Enclave Audio Cinehome 2 that we reviewed uh, last year, a couple of years ago. I'll link that up here and put it down in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, you can get 5.1 surround sound uh, wirelessly, so you don't have to run any wires around your room, which is pretty handy. And so overall, just wrapping up here, uh, I've really been <laughs> blown away by the AWOL LTV 3500. I really like the ultra short throw projector footprint. You know, it sits right there, right underneath the screen. Don't have to worry about my kids getting in front of the image or anything like that. Uh, it does have an eye protection. If you get too close, it'll shut off the lasers so you don't, you know, hurt any kids who get too close to it. But I would say that this is the first time I've really uh, tried one of these projectors that I feel could be a replacement for a normal large TV. Uh, because you can still have the lights on, you can still be in a bright room, and it's delivering a, an incredible image. Some of the other short throw projectors that I've tried, uh, they work really well in a dim or dark room, but it's a different story when the lights are turned on. So immediately that has been really impressive on the AWOL LTV 3500. And so while there are definitely more affordable uh, ultra short throw projectors, uh, we checked out the Wemax Nova and also the Extra Jimmy Aura, and I'll put links down in the description if you want to check out those reviews. Um, this one has definitely, you know, 
uh, blown, blown me away in the experience with the image that's coming out of this projector compared to those two. All right, and that'll do it for our review of the AWOL LTV 3500 Ultra Short Throw Projector. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. And if you're looking for some other videos to watch, check out our review of the X Jimmy Aura as well as the Wii Max Nova. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. to